Bienvenidos amigos and welcome back to another episode of More Life Diaries. Today we're taking you guys trick-or-treating here in Puerto Vallarta and we are celebrating Dia de los Muertos. So we're going to show you guys what we did for both. It is absolutely insane here. Halloween is crazy. I think busier than Dia de los Muertos and you'll see why you'll want to travel here from the end of October to early November. It's definitely a sight to see. Let's go. Guys, we're about to tackle on the Malecon on Halloween 2024. It's already crazy busy. We were here last year. This is our second Halloween here. Very exciting. We'll see what we get into. It is very, very busy right now. We just got on the Malecon. It is absolutely crazy. I'm on the hunt for tamales. Uh, Halloween here is definitely the time to come with kids. If you wanna have a great time, there's really nothing like it, nothing like it back home. It is absolute madness here on the Malecon. Puerto Vallarta, Halloween 2024, craziness. than a bowl of oatmeal. We're out here getting some candy. Uh, we haven't got that much, but just fun to be around looking at the costumes. Adults dressed up, kids dressed up, little newborns dressed up. Everyone's dressed up out here. Steve from Minecraft and everyone's stopping him to take pictures. <laughs> Okay, so bad news. This is where our tamales lady usually is on the Malecon. She's not here today, so I guess there's no tamales unless we find some on the way home. Let's pray that we do.
this Halloween was absolutely crazy. We came a little bit earlier last year and left early and it was not this crazy and it was still pretty busy, but not as crazy as it is today. Um, there's really nothing like it. It's really worth coming to see. If you want a vacation with the kids, come around Halloween time, go to the Malacan, whichever city you're in, and it is absolutely bananas. Um, people throwing candy from rooftops, from bars, giving out candy. A lot of kids taking pictures with each other. Um, it's really, really fun. Just a very cool thing to witness. There's nothing like it in Canada. Just amazing here. So we will jump to some Dia de los Muertos festivities and hope everyone had a great Halloween, safe Halloween. And the kids out there, hope you guys got a lot of candy. Peace. Happy Halloween. going on guys we are back dia de los muertos november 3rd we're heading to the malecon right now with the kids we're gonna see the parade get some footage for you guys get some footage of the katrina on the malecon very exciting if you guys remember dia de los muertos last year we were at pantheon the cemetery here so this year we thought we'd switch it up head back to the malecon even though we were there a couple days ago wondering the parade usually starts around six ish like right before sunset it goes all the way from the pantheon the cemetery and i think it goes all the way to zona romantica um, last year we watched it from the pantheon so this year we thought we'd switch things up get some shots from the malecon a different point of view and of course to see the decorations the catrinas on the malecon um, we were here for Halloween. It was crazy busy, so we didn't really get to take everything in. But hopefully today, you know, we get to walk around a little bit more uh, since we're here a bit earlier and show you guys everything there is to see.
So this year we went to the Malecon, we're close to the Plaza de Armas. Last year we were at the cemetery where it started, and I think this is the place to be. Um, there was way more action. Action, like we didn't get to see the horses because they joined in later last year. So it was a lot of fun. A lot of energy down here, whereas at the cemetery it's a little bit slower. And it wasn't that bad to get footage or to see the parade too. It was, yeah. yeah, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too crowded. It was a lot of people, but there's so much room here that it wasn't too bad. Exactly. We found a little area, a corner to sit, and everything. So it was great. Guys, my drone skills are really rough right now. I captured a bunch of footage and uh, I was not recording any of it. Horses, cool angles, dodging all the other drones in the sky and nothing. But I got some earlier. I just gotta brush up on my drone skills, y'all. Next up guys, we are on the hunt for tamales, cervezas, tacos, and what? And friends. And friends. Let's go find what we're looking for.